tells us that term 5 of an arithmetic sequence is 20, term 12 is 34, determine term 20. Now, I find a lot of students, they try work this out, they literally like, they I don't know, they say X, Y, Z, W, and then they're like, oh, term 5 is 20, so we'll put a 20 there. And then they go all the way up to like term 12. Guys, this doesn't work. There's a much better way to do this. They're telling you it's arithmetic, and they're telling you that term 5 is 20. So I'm going to fill in as much as I can. So they're telling me that term 5 is 20. So I say 20 equals to A, which I don't know. N is 5, because that's the term number, or the position number. And then the common difference, I don't know. So then that just becomes A plus 4D. Now, I can't do anything more with that. But they've given us another piece of information. So I can do the same thing. I can say 34 equals to a plus 12 minus 1 times d. And so that becomes 34 equals to a plus 11d. Aha. Now what we do is we take this equation and this equation and we simply solve simultaneously. Now you can do this in so many different ways. So if you don't follow what I'm doing, try it your own way. Just make sure you get to the same answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to get A by itself. If you do that, you would get 34 minus 11D. I'm then going to substitute that into the place of A over there. So that means we're going to get 20 equals to, and then in brackets I'll just say 34 minus 11D plus 4D. Now I can go solve for D you would eventually find that 7d is equal to 14, which means that d is 2. I can then plug that back over here as a 2. And then if you have to solve that, you'd find that a is 12. Now they said find term 20. Now it's easy. We just use this formula where we say term 20 is a, which is 12, plus 20 minus 1 times d, which is 2. And so that will be 50. So guys, something very important that I want you to understand is that when they give you this information like this, just put it into formulas and it usually turns into a simultaneous equation.